Hey, oh, Jerry here. Hope you're doing good no matter the time or the place. Today I wanted to talk about VR accessories, um, specifically the ones I use. I don't use a whole lot of accessories, but there are a few that I feel are definitely necessary. And every one I have, with the exception of one, which I'll reveal at the end, obviously, uh, they're all, I feel like, were necessary buys. So let's get into it. I'm going to look at accessories for the Quest 3 that I use, and the PSVR 2 that I use. Here we go. So, seriously, the most important one for either headset, any headset, it's this little bad boy. A nice fiberless microfiber towel. Not like the ones you clean your car with. Like the ones they give you to sunglasses, prescription glasses, watches, and something that cleans glass, doesn't leave anything behind, nice, thick, don't skimp, get a good microfiber towel to clean your lenses, <clears throat> always make sure to clean in circular motions, starting on the inside, working your way outside, so that any dust and debris works its way out, and doesn't get stuck in your lens area there, uh, really small gentle circles. I've had no problems, and I've been doing that with my PSVR 2 for, what, a year and two and a half odd months. And my place Quest 3, I've been doing that with four months now, so three, four months? I don't know how long I've had the thing. The next thing that I got immediately for both of them, eye covers, lens covers. You want something to protect the lens. Quest 3 one I got is just this cloth one. I've got the neop stiff neoprene material, nothing special, four or five bucks, Amazon. Pops right in, boom, covers your lenses, no dust or anything's going to fall, keeps light from shining in there. For the PSVR 2, I opted for some things cheap as well, but on these I got the silicone ones. Now they make the silicone ones for both the Quest and the PlayStation. The PSVR 2 doesn't have the ridge right here as much that the Quest does, so you can't put the cloth one in like that. That just pops in and folds in. So that's why I opted for the silicone ones on these, and they just go over the lens, drop on. I don't like these as much because you have to be kind of careful when you're dropping them on, but I haven't had a problem. I just drop them on, then they just slide on pretty easily, and as you can see, they're in there. And then you just pull right in the middle and they just pop right off. So that's definitely <clears throat> taking care of your lenses is very important. So covering them, cleaning them. There's a lot of other cleaning stuff, <clears throat> but I definitely recommend a good microfiber towel and some kind of a lens cover for starters. That is just your bare minimum of accessories. If you're not going to do anything else, at least get those accessories. Now, there's definitely some more that I went ahead and got as well. So, one of the other accessories that I do have for both of them are these neoprene covers. I got the Quest neoprene cover. I got the PlayStation VR 2 neoprene cover. Uh, mostly, I got these just to help with just scuffing it against stuff. Supposedly, they help with um, heat and stuff. That's not really been a huge problem. Um, I've left it on the PSVR 2. I like it a lot. I kind of like the look. Um, and it's kind of nice to not worry about setting it somewhere briefly and scuffing it up, but it's really not that. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. And on the Quest, I just didn't use it because I found this cool Boba Fett skin, and yeah, that's what I did. So, <laughs> I mean, these are cool. It's just, are you banging it around? Do you, you, you know if you need it. I did not need these, but I thought the skin was kind of cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so as far as the headset goes, I did on the on the PlayStation. I did not get anything. Now they do make a globular cluster for the PSVR two. Um, it has some moisture wicking in front, and it has a nice little headset in the back. But I like the way the PSVR two headset feels. I've had no problems with it. Now I might get the moisture wicking one because sometimes I do get a little sweaty. That being said, I didn't really feel the need for that with the PSVR 2. Now, with the Quest, 
it comes with that horrendous head strap. So the first thing I did was order the Bobo M3. They do have the Bobo S3 now, but I really like the Bobo M3. The main difference is the Bobo M3 has a smaller battery. The Bobo S3 has, I believe, t uh, double the battery size, and it has a little cooling fan in the back here. So that's cool. But otherwise, I mean, fits like a glove. It's very comfortable, and it really allows you to last longer in the headset. And more way this than one. It gives you the comfort for the stamina, but it also gives you this nice battery. And you toss the battery on, boom, and you get an extra almost hour and a half of gameplay. But <clears throat> that's might not be quite enough for you. It wasn't for me. So I got the Bobo charging dock which is just a little flat dock but it comes with another battery pops on like that and that way I can have both batteries waiting swap them in and out and I can play VR for a good while with my quest heck yeah so on the headsets Nothing really, other than the neoprene for the PlayStation. Got the cool Boba Fett skin for uh, the Quest and the Bobo M3 or S3. I haven't priced the S3 because I already had this. I think it came out after I got this, but I have this was less than 40 bucks on the Bobo M3. And I think if you've got um, a Quest, you should get one of those because it's very comfortable, like I said. Now let's talk about the controllers. Oh, well, one other accessory that I do have for the PlayStation VR 2 headset. Eh, it's the sense. You know, I mean, I use this quite a bit. It definitely gives you a lot more immersion with your PSVR 2. Um, I don't know if it's a necessar necessary one. I didn't buy it specifically for the PSVR 2. But it's definitely a good accessory. So <clears throat> now, talk about the controllers. On the controllers, I got for the PSVR 2 the docking stand. I got the PlayStation one. There are a bunch of aftermarket ones. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money for a stand, but it's definitely helpful to have something that you can just click a little plug in and drop it down and let these controllers charge because you have to charge them all the time if you're not aware of that. So a charging dock is definitely a helpful accessory for the PSVR 2. One of the first ones that I really decided I needed. Um, on my Quest 3 controllers, I have no mods. I'm thinking about getting the Bobo uh, VR straps. Those are pretty cool, but I haven't got them yet. I do have Boba Fett skins, of course. And I got rechargeable batteries because... Let's face it, you're going to want rechargeable batteries. So get some rechargeable batteries if you don't already use rechargeable batteries. A lot of the um, headstands will come with rechargeable batteries and little charging things. I, I didn't really want the, the stand, but if you're getting a stand, you'll probably get batteries with it. But get some chargeable batteries. Makes a difference. Okay, so for the Quest 3, I have one more. My favorite thing about the Quest is traveling with it, taking it places. And so you've got to get a good traveling case. I got the foregoer. It's got a stiff sides, pockets in front, and nice little shoulder can case. Very easy to just toss your whole quest. And literally, <clears throat> I can fit all my Quest accessories in with this. So if I leave the house with a 3060 laptop, 3060 Ti laptop, with my i7 in it, 
and this bag I can play PC VR anywhere and if I leave the laptop at home I got standalone VR anywhere which is why I like the quest I'm not getting the quest for graphics I'm getting the quest because I can play it anywhere and that's what I love about the quest now now I did mention there is one final accessory that I definitely did not need I do not want it I'm not a huge racing game fan uh, I did. I do play Gran Turismo 7 and here and there. I think I have about 7 hours in it at the point before this happened. Um, <clears throat> I realized, well, the game was good. I had no intention of buying the steering wheel or any of that stuff. I saw places where I might be interested in using it for PC VR, but just, I, I'm not such a... Uh, such a fan of the racing games that I need any racing game accessories but I happened to be on Facebook marketplace and I saw this contraption for $43 so not only is it I mean, it's it's junk don't get me wrong this is not your racing enthusiast rig but for $43 I picked up this wheel with the stand and the pedals and I will say I don't like racing games I went from having about six or seven hours in GT7 to having over 20 hours in just like maybe a day so I've already used this for about 15 hours uh, and I I, I see why people are spending the money on these so this will be an accessory that I'll probably be using quite a bit more and I would be surprised if I don't get a nicer one eventually because this one's really plasticky and I see why people make the you know big expenditures in the metal ones but did want to mention that yeah I did end up getting that accessory it's definitely not necessary but you can find them for very cheap on Facebook Marketplace and I don't regret it in fact I regret not getting something more expensive sooner so there it is those are accessories I use in VR um, if you got any questions please let me know appreciate everyone who uh, liked and subscribed and everyone who just came and tuned in and watched let me know in the comments if there, what you use if I miss anything um, that you think is just a must-have but uh, I'm gonna end it right there Appreciate everyone who watched, and y'all have a great one. Take it easy. See ya.